Just two days into the month of December, and the Grizzlies already get a taste of how relentless this month can be as they try to build on Sunday's victory over the Minnesota Timberwolves when they play a rare home game in this month when the Indiana Pacers visit FedEx Forum tonight. The Grizzlies have nine road games and leave out on a four-game trip starting on Wednesday, but first they must take care of business right here. This Indiana team was the same team that handed the Grizzlies a double-figure loss up in Indiana a week ago tonight. So the Grizzlies are going to have to do it, possibly missing as many as four key rotation players for a second straight night. Jonas Valanciunas will continue to be a game-time decision as he deals with an illness that left him out of last night's game in Minnesota, as well as Kyle Anderson is likely to miss the game again as he deals with heel soreness. Brandon Clark started the game yesterday, but was dealing with a hip issue that left him out in the second half. So we'll see where he is as well, coming back on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. And John Moran is still dealing with back soreness, and the Grizzlies are listing him as week-to-week. -week. But everything I'm hearing is that it's not a long-term issue. It's just that the Grizzlies want to give him all the time he needs to deal with the back soreness that he's been dealing with since he injured it a week ago in the game against Indiana and then aggravated it last Wednesday against the Los Angeles Clippers. So the Grizzlies have an opportunity right now. It's going to be tough but they had tough guys step up in tough moments on Sunday. Can they do it again? Can you get another historic and career-defining rebounding game from Bruno Caboclo? Can Jaron Jackson stay out of foul trouble? Can the Grizzlies get some of the push from the veterans that they had in Solomon Hill and Jay Crowder? All of those issues and all of those opportunities remain on the table for Tyus Jones and those guys. The list goes on and on and on. So the Grizzlies have an opportunity. Let's see if they can deliver at home before they get on the road.